guys and today we're going to be doing this Kylie Jenner um, inspired look and to get started I'm priming my eyes with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair and I'm just putting that all over my eyelids to get ready for eyeshadow. And again like always I'm blending this in with my Beauty Blender. Um, this is just such an important step when you're doing any eyeshadow it makes all of your eye looks look a million times better. And again, like always, I'm going to be using the tape method for my eyeliner. I was actually watching one of the Kylie Jenner makeup videos with her in it and her makeup artist, and she does use this method, so I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't know that until just a couple of days ago, so this definitely works then. <laughs> So for our first shadow, I'm using Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie, and as you can see, I've already hit pan on that, but this is my kind of warm, neutral toned transition shade, and I just put that all over my crease, focusing on the outer corner and really blending that out onto the outside of the tape. Because her eyes are bigger than mine, um, I'm really going for that wide-eyed effect. Um, so I'm going a little bit farther than my crease actually goes. But that's okay when we peel the tape off it'll look totally normal <laughs> and for the next one this is makeup geek um, cocoa bear and I'm doing the exact same thing with the exact same brush except for with this I'm focusing it a little bit more on the outer corner it seems like a lot of her makeup is very warm and bronzy so that's why I picked these colors and like always this is my morphe g24 brush i believe is the number um this bl brush is so fluffy and perfect and i love it for most of my eye looks now i have like a million fluffy blending brushes but this one is definitely like my top three favorite <laughs> And this is Makeup Forever M-600. I'm sorry, this eyeshadow looks kind of gross. Um, and it doesn't really take well on camera. I feel like this is a much more warm brown shadow than it's showing up on camera. But um, it's just a little bit darker and a little bit more neutral toned than the Cocoa Bear, which is why I picked it to add to our colors. So this is just gonna give our crease a little bit more depth since she seems to have more depth in her crease than I do. This one is Makeup Geeks Americano. This is just like my go-to neutral eye look. <laughs> so these are the same colors that I always use for this look. Um, and I use this one primarily in the outer corner. And I'm really focusing on dragging that out onto the edge of the tape, as you can see. Because I want my eyes to look very almond-shaped, which is why I'm doing this. And the key with this is always a lot of blending. You want to blend like crazy. I get so many people who ask me how I get my eyeshadow look so good, how I, I do that. It's because this process of blending literally takes me like 10 or 15 minutes. This is such an important part. That's how you get these looks to look so smoked out. So this is MAC um, Nylon. No, I'm sorry, Mylar. <laughs> and I'm just using this on a flat brush to kind of clean up where my lid is. So this is almost white but not quite white like it's very close to my natural skin tone as you can see I'm super pale so um, I'm just using this on my lid to kind of clean it up and make it look better <laughs> so this is my morphe 35 P palette um, it's the purple toned palette or plum palette and I'm just using this dark plum shade in my outer corner because that's one of my I like to use browns that have a little bit of purple in them because it brings out my eyes so I am using that a little bit in the outer corner um, and I think that any browns that have purple in them bring out most eye colors really awesome on blue for sure and like always my Maybelline gel liner in blackest black and as you can see I'm kind of dragging that out now her eyeliner is not as dramatic all the time I guess as this is she normally goes with like a smoked out liner but since this is just a Kylie Jenner inspired look I wasn't going exactly for what she does um, and I'm really into my winged liner so as you can see I'm just doing a nice dark cat wing and I'm bringing that out almost to where the tail of my brow is If you guys want a look uh, a video on eyeliner, I can totally do that because I've had a couple of questions, so just let me know. 
I'm just peeling off the tape and look how clean that line is. So clean. Okay, so these lashes, I don't judge me, but I have no idea what these lashes are. They are just sitting on my makeup desk. And I'm sure they're probably part of the Vegas Nay collection. I just am not sure. Um, so I'm just gluing on some false eyelashes. The ones that Kylie Jenner wears are, I believe, Minkinos by... I'll have to double check. I'm not totally sure, but I know that she does wear false lashes. And I put on some mascara and I'm using this Makeup Forever Step 1, which unfortunately, and here's my brows, um, my camera decided to shut off completely when I did my foundation. But if you watched the video before this, I did the exact same routine, the same exact thing, nothing changed. So it's my regular basic foundation routine that was in my other video, nothing has changed at all. Um, and I'm just bronzing up my face a little bit with the Morphe 9BZ palette. Um, I'm using my Morphe E4 brush to do this and I really want my contour to be dark and strong because my face shape is not like hers and because my lips are not like hers. I'm using my full lips enhancer while I'm doing this. So I sped through this but I'm just using this while I'm going in with my bronzer and I do this, I wouldn't say that often, but often enough that I can just hold it there, makes my lips look a little bit bigger and it's a I'm telling you, it works wonders. So I'm just contouring my nose a little bit to get a more slim looking nose. And I also feel like this just pulls the whole look together when I do this, I don't know why. And as you can see, my lips already look bigger. So woo. <laughs> so I'm using um, Max Whirl Pencil to line my lips and I am, which is one of the ones that she has been said to use. And as you can see, I'm kind of overlining a little bit and I'm just doing this to make my lips look a little bit fuller. Also, my lips aren't um, symmetrical, so I fill it in so that they do look as symmetrical as possible. You wanna stick with where your natural line is, but I just kind of drag it, not even like maybe two millimeters outside of the line of your lips because you don't want it to look too dramatic or too noticeable or awkward or anything like that. That's really, really important. So I'm just using a little bit of ColourPop's liquid lipstick in MIDI and I'm taking that on a flat lip brush by Graftobian and I'm just kind of blending that in. The reason I use a lip brush is for two reasons. One, I don't like to contaminate my liquid lipsticks and two, it's easier to blend this into the lip liner. So as you can see as I'm going through, I'm really blending this into the lip liner so it gives it that ombre effect and it's not super obvious. And I really like to focus in the center of the lip and drag it out so that the center of the lip has the lightest color. Um, that's also a thing that makes your lips look bigger. So on a flat definer brush, I'm just using that same Americano color by Makeup Geek and I'm just doing this underneath my eyes. This is gonna make my eyes look bigger and wider, which is more of the Kylie Jenner cat eye um, desired look. And so that's why I'm doing that. And I'm just adding a little bit of blush. This is a more orange toned blush because she does tend to have bronzier looks than I do. And it's from the Morphe 9B palette. And like always, I'm highlighting with Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill um, and Becca Cosmetics. This is my favorite highlighter ever. I think it's like the perfect shade. It's not too white and it's not too bronze, um, but it definitely makes my cheekbones stand out, <laughs> which Kylie Jenner has amazing cheekbones, so that's kind of what I was going for. Adding a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line. Awkward mascara face. <laughs> I literally don't know how to do my mascara without making that weird face. It's look, just not possible, I can't do it. <laughs> so I'm just adding a little bit of NYX uh, Soft Matte Lip Cream in Cairo in the center because I wanted a little bit more plump looking. And I'm just gonna be spritzing on my Scandinavia setting spray and that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.